Hey folks, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Today we're going to do something new. It is Shorts Whiskey. It is a local, uh, local to Iowa, uh, made in, Shorts is owned in Iowa City, but this whiskey was actually distilled by uh, Cedar Ridge Whiskey Distillery over in Swisher, Iowa, which is very close to Iowa City. And their little spin on bourbon is to use burr oak, the tree burr oaks, um, charred staves of burr oak in their whiskey barrels to finish it, as opposed to red oak or white oak, depending on what you are familiar with. Um, a little bit on a burr oak tree, They're, they are uh, an Iowa tree. It's unlike uh, the red oaks and the white oaks that are the big, tall, or tall gnarly ones, um, or the pin oaks, which is kind of a Christmas tree shaped and really tall. The burr oak only gets to be like 80 feet tall, but it is as wide as it is tall. And there's tons and tons of acorns in it. It's a, it's a prairie tree. I mean, they don't grow in large groups because they block the sun out from each other. So you, you've got to have wide open space for these. Uh, the other thing about them is the wood is really dense, very similar to a pin oak, to where if you're burning or cutting a burr oak tree as opposed to a regular oak tree, uh, a red oak or a white oak tree, which are much more common, this, the smell is definitely different. So the flavor on this whiskey is significantly different than a red or white oak um, cask. It, it's very interesting. You can tell this is a young whiskey. Right? So you, this one's been on ice for three or four minutes. You can see how light it is in color compared with a lot of the other more uh, longer aged bourbons. It's got a, it's got some peaty taste to it, some peaty, peaty smoke. It's a little sweet, but not overly so. And it almost has a metallic finish to it, almost like copper. It's not a bad whiskey, but it's definitely a young whiskey. You can tell that they're, they've tried to do some um, additions into it to to change the flavor palette on it and make it a little more uh, a little more interesting for being as young as it is. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it though. I would really like to try one of these that's been aged for five or six years. I think five or six years, maybe even a 10 year age this way could be really, really interesting. What I do really like about it is it's an 80 proof. So many of the micro distillery stuff that you get out there now are the uh, you know, just the, the custom stuff is really high octane. This is not. It's an 80 proof. It's something that you can enjoy and sip on. Um, I would put it kind of where Tin Cup first started at as being just that really light flavored uh, young whiskey that needs some more time to develop. But it's still good. Unfortunately, it is very light and I may end up drinking way too much of this today. I don't know. <clears throat> so there you go. It is Shorts Whiskey from Iowa City, Iowa. Also, if you are a fan of Shorts, they do have a burger place on South Clinton Street. So check that out if you're in Iowa City. And the bourbon is not bad. It's worth a try. It would go good with a burger, especially if you have one of those good charboiled ones. Ah. <sighs> So going into our Whiskey Wednesday ramble, I don't know exactly what to talk about, but I'll talk about what's pertinent to me right now, and that is uh, staying out of depression. So for me, with my PTSD, uh, depression is always kind of there on the edge that it could come in at any point in time, uh, and the more stressed out I get, the more likely it is that I will... Uh, that, that I'll go into a, a bit of a depression. Uh, we've gotten a lot better at catching that early on, both me and my wife. Um, but for me, 
when I feel it coming on, there are little things that I do that I started to implement a couple of years ago. Uh, one of them is to, the number one thing is don't lay around. Get up and move. You have to move. Um, you can't see outside right now, but it is cold and wet and quite a miserable day. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up, take a towel, go wipe off the tractor, and go start moving hay. The more I move, the more I stay engaged um, physically, the easier it is for me to stay out of a depression episode. Having a schedule is huge for me, knowing that there are things that I need to take off the list. Um, and I, again, going back to being more physical, I try to make those more physical activities as opposed to sitting down and doing paperwork. Uh, the more I keep my body moving, the more I keep my mind actively engaged, the easier it is for me to stay out of um, out of dark places. So that's what I'm doing now. That's what I'm going to continue to do and hopefully have a nice smooth, uh, well, a smooth gravel road getting out of here. But there you go, folks. Keep yourself busy. Enjoy a little good whiskey and have a schedule. And until next time, whiskey helps.